Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. Going to read through the majority of the article here. There is a link in the description and it is a tragedy. I'm going to mention a trigger warning. There's going to be some details in regards to the injuries sustained by the murder victim. And the murder victim was an extremely young child, two months of age, a young boy, Aaron McCarter. As of Thursday, the scumbag father, the scumbag that you see in front of you, Damien Charles McCarter, Aaron's father, has been found guilty of one count of second degree murder in the death of two month old Aaron McCarter, his own son. Sentencing hasn't occurred as yet, but he does face life in prison, is one possibility. Uh, this crime happened in 2019. Um, the child is being described as a particularly vulnerable victim, uh, which may lead to a particularly harsh sentence for this guy. We hope it does. Uh, we don't really know why Aaron McCarter was or has been described as a particularly vulnerable victim. Um, I'm not sure if that's suggesting that he perhaps had some level of disability or if it's merely referencing his age, but uh, that's how he has been described. I'm going to go through some of the details in regards to the discovery of young Aaron, and that is, is going to outline some of the injuries that he sustained. So again, I'm going to put in place the trigger warning at this point in time. Uh, deputies with the Kitsap County Sheriff's Office in Washington on December the 3rd, 2019 responded to multiple calls from social workers at a local children's hospital in Tacoma regarding a severe injured newborn baby. The child was airlifted from Harrison Medical Center due to the severity of his injuries, which reportedly included a depressed skull fracture with subdural and sub subarachnoid hemorrhages, which essentially means bleeding between the brain and the skull. Okay. So that those are the injuries that young Aaron suffered. A depressed skull fracture with subdural and subarachnoid hemorrhages. Bleeding between the brain and the skull. When the father was informed of the extent of uh, Aaron's injuries and informed that he would likely not survive, apparently the scumbag in question became distraught and said, I killed my baby. The article later tells us that he has since pleaded not guilty and that he uh, claims that he's innocent and that young Aaron's death it was uh, the result of an accident. We'll look more closely at that in a moment. In addition to the skull and brain injuries, Aaron, the two-year-old, sorry, two-month-old, reportedly also had multiple fractured ribs and bruising to his face, hands, and stomach that doctors said was consistent with non-accidental trauma. Multiple fractured ribs, bruising to his face, hands, and stomach this is a two-month-old boy. Aaron was pronounced dead on December the 4th, 2019. Uh, as I mentioned a moment ago, the scumbag father uh, told investigators that Aaron's injuries were the result of an accident. Uh, there's a description here. I'm not going to go through it fully, but essentially uh, baby Aaron was in a car seat on the kitchen table. It was accidentally dropped. And Aaron landed face down on the ground. That's what the scumbag father claims. But he's been since found guilty of murder. Um, the doctors again have said that Aaron's extensive injuries are consistent with non-accidental trauma. So the experts, the scientists, the doctors refute the claims of the father. Text messages from the scumbag father to his wife. Wife reportedly showed him calling his son an asshole for crying so much. 
After the child was injured, the scumbag father reportedly called his wife a cunt in one of the messages. A C-U-N-T. These are messages of a father increasingly frustrated that Aaron was fussy and he could not calm down. He berated his wife uh, because he wanted her to feel as bad as he did. That's pretty much all the information that we have other than uh, the defense lawyer has consistently claimed that the father has uh, maintained that the death of Aaron was due to an accident. The father is innocent. The experts say something completely different to that. I have faith in the experts. We've seen this time and time again. Parents killing their children, their very young children, infants, killing them. Why? Because they're crying. I'm not a parent. I'm never going to be a parent in all likelihood. If I were a parent, I'd have to realize that infants cry. And I can imagine that that does become hugely frustrating. And I can imagine that um, it can warp the brain. I can, I can imagine that. I can imagine that people can have moments of snapping. But you just can't. You just can't to the extent that you harm your child. You just cannot do that. If you're getting to the point of breaking point, go for a walk. You know, do what Johnny Depp does, break some cupboards. I'm being a little bit facetious, but you just do anything other than harm a child, harm your own child. More than harm, injure your child. Injure or, you know, kill your child. I mean, that's what these guys do. This guy did, Damien Charles McCarter, 34 years of age, killed his own two-month-old boy, Aaron. What an absolute scumbag. So again, sentencing is due to take place uh, shortly. I think it said July. I've lost that part now. Uh, but uh, sentencing is due to, due to occur. And it's been mentioned that... Um, he may get a life sentence. I hope he does. If the death penalty is not available, give him life. It's a cost to the taxpayer. We'll pay it. We'll pay for this guy to stay in jail. I mean, I'd rather pay for it to uh, for this guy to be have his life ended. For him to accidentally fall on the ground and sustain injuries that his young two-month-old child did. A depressed skull f fracture with subdural and subarachnoid hemorrhages. Bleeding between the brain and skull. Broken ribs. I'd like to see this guy suffer suffer those injuries. But either way, I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. Am I doing a decent job of this? Am I being respectful? I, I know I am being respectful, for sure. Uh, I mean, and to remind myself, full condolences to the extended family uh, of Aaron McCarter. Um, an innocent life taken again. At the hands of an evil scumbag. This guy here found guilty. He claims he's not guilty. It's bullshit mate. Gonna wrap things up here guys. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Take care.